good day my name is john melroy fernandez lecturer at department of interior design and decoration milagres college mangalore so today we are going to discuss about a topic uh, timber and the seasoning of timber so how is uh, seasoning done and what are the process which is involved in the seasoning of the timber okay so first thing uh, we'll uh, uh, discuss about what is timber so timber which denotes wood so timber is a wood which is suitable for uh, any of the building or the carpentry works and various other engineering purposes as well so if you look about uh, a residential uh, space or commercial space everything will be covered with the uh, wood so even uh, for the windows we use wood uh, for the window frames uh, for the window shutters even uh, for when it comes for the doors we use uh, for the door frames uh, for the partition uh, walls for the beams for the post for the cupboards for the cabinets for the tables chairs there are many plenty uses uh, uh, where we use the uh, timber as well so timber is one of the most useful and the important material which is used for the construction so selecting a timber is not a easy task so because timber has a different type so timber uh, uh, the it has it, the timber uh, when it is cut it is having uh, different uh, grains uh, different uh, the sap uh, which is present inside the timber so it has a uh, different types of which selecting a right material is a very important key so timber is an expensive material as well so which is uh, incorporated in the building of the different purpose therefore it should be necessarily be strong tough and durable so these uh, timber must uh, be uh, necessarily be strong tough and uh, uh, durable as well so timber doors and uh, windows etc so contribute a lot in the beautification of overall construction or overall interior works so timber is also popularly used in the form of plywood and uh, the raw wood as also so plywood we use in our kitchen cabinets uh, or on our days uh, uh, plenty of uh, furnitures uh, uh, which is related to the living room as well as the dining room or else even uh, uh, for the kitchen areas uh, so bedrooms also so uh, it covers almost all the rooms uh, where we use a uh, uh, plywood uh, works or the wooden works which is done so products like uh, ply blocks and ply boards uh, the heavy pattern doors and uh, windows are made up of solid wood or the timber which is to provide the strength the toughness and the durability so type of uh, timber which is to be used for the right purpose is the important because if timber used in the construction is of low quality then this may need replacement as well so while selecting the timber one should uh, consider its quality uh, its strength its uh, durability its toughness and uh, uh, it is free from uh, it, uh, it must be free from the decay like rotten fungi and the termite also so timber as a building material is in high demand so timbers have numerous uses so ranging uh, from the building construction for uh, making the furniture so even uh, while the construction of the work also we use uh, uh, timber uh, wood we use a uh, timber while we construct a slab uh, uh, construction for the vertical uh, uh, beams as well before we pour the concrete so we use uh, even when it, when the starting of the construction also we use even for the finishing works uh, for the inner cabinets uh, or any of the storage purpose uh, uh, we use this timber in a construction so it is uh, one of the important uh, material for the construction work so here uh, there are some uh, pictures uh, where uh, the cabinet has been shown the roof uh, which is uh, done with the wooden uh, uh, horizontal uh, the slant members and the uh, uh, vertical uh, slant uh, members here uh, uh, even in the wooden flooring you can see in the second picture uh, there are wooden planks uh, and uh, wooden uh, uh, 
yeah wooden roofing also and wooden uh, uh, frames which is used for the windows uh, and even uh, some in some of the places they use uh, wooden uh, uh, to uh, uh, equal to dif uh, difference uh, about uh, to differentiate uh, one room to divide uh, one room into uh, two spaces either uh, vertically or horizontally so it can be used in uh, that purpose also so that is uh, all about timber so timber uh, which denotes wood so timber means the wood okay so that is uh, all about the timber so next uh, we'll move on to the uh, next topic uh, that is a uh, seasoning of timber so what do you mean by uh, seasoning of timber so the process of uh, removing excess moisture content so whatever the so before uh, when you cut a tree so uh, almost all the moisture content uh, so uh, when when you talk about tree the uh, there will be moisture content which is present in the tree so when you uh, cut a tree so either uh, 50 percent so all the moisture content will not be removed uh, while cutting so f further what is uh, the remaining uh, moisture content which is remained in the after cutting the tree so that is to be removed before we uh, use the timber for any of the works so maybe you we use it for the doors or windows for any of the uh, work so before we use uh, this uh, timber we uh, it is to be seasoned to avoid the shrinkage or uh, breakage or uh, the swelling so to avoid all these uh, things uh, so you might have uh, found it in uh, some uh, uh, doors uh, in winters uh, it will uh, stretch out and in uh, uh, summers uh, it will uh, uh, again uh, be compacted uh, to each other uh, so that uh, there will be very much uh, noise when you open and uh, close the doors so all that is uh, because uh, the seasoning of the wood is not done in a proper way so seasoning so the process of uh, removing the excess moisture content from the timber at a suitable level in the conjunction with improving some of the qualities are known as the seasoning of timber so when the trees are cut it will be having approximately 50 percent of the moisture content so timber cannot be used immediately after cutting the trees because of these trees contain an uneven sap so sap is uh, with the content of a, a tree so it is excess moisture present within the timber will shrink excessively so it will even have a tendency to tendency to so decay so there is only seasoning of timber is one of the solution so the hundred percent amount of the moisture cannot be removed from the tree so 12 to 15 percent of the moisture which will remain with the tree after the seasoning so carpentry tools can be easily used well on the seasoned timber so well seasoning of the timber may contain up to 15 percentage so what are the reasons uh, for the seasoning of the timber so there are a few uh, a few of the reasons which is uh, listed so to improve the strength so to improve the strength and the workability of the timber so to uh, to have a better uh, quality of uh, timber to have a, a good lifespan of uh, timber this uh, seasoning can be done and uh, the workability of uh, the timber so the one who works uh, with the uh, such kind of uh, well uh, seasoned timber so for workability also it is uh, uh, helpful for the carpenter to work uh, easily okay so he can uh, use any of the tools on that uh, seasoned uh, well seasoned timber so next one it helps to reduce the probability of the development of shrinkage detect and to form a sure durability of timber so it helps to reduce the probability of uh, being uh, shrinked uh, or uh, getting uh, decayed or uh, defect uh, from any of the uh, uh, termites or the insects as well okay so next one to reduce the moisture content of the timber so this seasoning is done even to uh, reduce the moisture content which is present in the timber to reduce the load and crack of the timber so it makes the timber receptive to finish like a preservative paint and the 
varnish so uh, preservative uh, means uh, to preserve the timber we use some of the preservatives like coal tar the paint is also one of the preservative so even the seasoning will also act as uh, one of the preservative which could be uh, done uh, which could be given to the timber before we use it uh, before we use it for a uh, uh, practically okay so that is uh, about the uh, what are some of the reasons uh, which is uh, used for the seasoning of the timber so next uh, we'll move on to the methods of seasoning of the timber so here usually there are two methods of seasoning of timber one is uh, uh, natural method and one more is the artificial method so artificial seasoning and the natural seasoning so there are uh, two types of uh, uh, seasoning so in natural seasoning uh, we have a small table out here so in natural seasoning there is water seasoning and the air seasoning here in artificial seasoning it is divided further uh, classified into further four types that is season by boiling chemical seasoning clean seasoning and the electrical seasoning so the first one natural seasoning so what is this natural seasoning so natural seasoning is a process of seasoning the timber by subjecting it to natural elements like such as air or water okay so natural seasoning may be water seasoning or the air seasoning so first one what is uh, how this water seasoning uh, been done so water seasoning is a process in which the timber is immersed in the water flow so where the flowing water uh, so uh, you might have found it uh, in uh, timber factories uh, you'll have uh, it will be located in uh, uh, where the near to the river banks only where the river uh, water flows uh, it will be located in such a place uh, so that uh, the seasoning could be done very easily so water seasoning is a process in which the timber is been immersed in the uh, water flow which helps to remove the sap which is present in the timber so it takes 2 to 4 weeks of time and after that the timber is allowed to dry so well seasoned timber is then ready to use so water seasoning is done by uh, getting uh, uh, the timber and immersed it in water so putting it in uh, the flowing water and it takes uh, 2 to 4 weeks of uh, time to get uh, well seasoned uh, timber so that is uh, all about uh, water seasoning and next uh, coming to the natural seasoning uh, uh, that is the second one that is air seasoning so in this process of air seasoning the timber logs are arranged in the layer in a shed so the arrangement is done by maintaining some gap with the ground so platform is built on the ground at 300 mm height from the ground so the logs are arranged in such a way that air is circulated freely between the logs so by the movement of the air the moisture content in timber slowly reduces and seasoning occurs so even though it is a slow process it will produce a well seasoned timber so in what happens here in the air seasoning uh, the timber uh, is taken and it is been arranged in a, a shed and uh, some uh, gaps is being placed uh, uh, be in between the each layer of the timbers so if you look at the diagram here it uh, the timbers uh, have been placed uh, in each layer uh, there is a gap uh, between each layers so that is uh, all about the air seasoning so uh, this is also this takes uh, uh, this is a slow process even uh, this will uh, take uh, more than uh, two three uh, uh, weeks uh, three to four weeks also uh, sometimes but uh, it will produce a well seasoned timber so that is all about natural seasoning one is of uh, the first one that is water seasoning and uh, the second one that is the air seasoning so next uh, one uh, we are, will move on to the artificial seasoning so natural seasoning gives you good results but takes more time so artificial seasoning of timber is developed nowadays so by artificial seasoning the timber is seasoned with four to five days here also different methods of artificial seasoning are then follows so what happens here so in uh, natural seasoning it takes more time 
but it will uh, give you a, a well seasoned timber but in artificial seasoning sometimes uh, we need uh, uh, work to be done it in a very uh, uh, two or three months uh, uh, the clients uh, we get a client uh, uh, who suggest us to finish up their uh, house construction work or the interior works uh, in two three months so within, within that period of time uh, we need a good uh, seasoned timber so whatever the timber we uh, what is the option left we have to use the artificial seasoning timber itself okay so that is so natural season uh, will uh, take two through uh, three to four weeks for uh, seasoning and here uh, when it comes to the artificial seasoning that four to uh, three to four weeks work will be done in four to five days so this is a very fast process which is compared to the natural seasoning so here also it has been divided into further four categories that is season by boiling chemical seasoning kiln seasoning and the electrical seasoning first one the seasoning by boiling so seasoning of timber is also achieved by boiling it in water for three to four hours okay so after boiling the timber is allowed to drying for large quantity of timber the boiling is difficult so sometimes hot steam is passed through the timber logs and enclosed in a room so it also gives a good result the boiling steam process develops the strength and elasticity of the timber but economically it is a uh, of heavier cost so here in seasoning by boiling the uh, it is uh, taken placed by boiling it in uh, water for three to four hours so the boiling of the timber is allowed for then drying for large quantity of uh, boiling uh, the it has been arranged in an enclosed room and a hot steam has been passed inside the room so which will uh, develop the strength and elasticity for the timber so that is about the seasoning by boiling so next type that is chemical seasoning so in case of chemical seasoning so, so that here the timber is stored in a suitable salt solution so in uh, boiling process the timber is been boiled in uh, boiled to 3 4 hours for seasoning here in chemical seasoning it is been immersed in a salt solution for some time so the salt solution use uh, has the tendency to absorb the water content which is present in the timber so the moisture content is removed and the timber is then allowed for the drying so this it affects the strength of the timber okay so it will increase the strength of the timber as well so that is uh, about the chemical seasoning next one the last uh, the third one we have the kiln seasoning so in this method the timber is subjected to the hot air in an air tight chamber so the hot air circulates in between the timber logs and reduces the moisture content so the temperature inside the chamber is obtained sorry the temperature uh, inside the chamber is raised with the help of a heating coil so when the required temperature is obtained the moisture content and the relative humidity gets reduced and the timber gets seasoned so even though it is a costly process it will give you a good result strength wise okay so here in this method also it is uh, uh, been same uh, compared to the air uh, uh, seasoning but here uh, it is uh, uh, kept in a hot uh, air tight uh, chambers and the hot air is circulated in between the timber logs so timber logs are arranged horizontally and uh, some spaces uh, been uh, uh, given uh, in between the uh, timber as well and then the hot air is been pumped inside the airtight chambers so even this is a very costlier uh, uh, process but it will uh, give you a good strength okay and the last one we have that is the electrical seasoning so in this method the electrical seasoning timber is subjected to high frequency of alternating currents so the res resistance of the timber against the electricity is measured at very at every interval of time so when the required resistance is uh, reached the seasoning 
the process is stopped so because resistance of the timber increases by reducing the moisture content in it so it is called the rapid seasoning and it is uneconomical so in this method the of electrical seasoning of timber what happens is uh, you have a instrument like this where uh, it is uh, heated so the timber uh, the which is subjected to high frequency alternating current so the resistance of the timber against the electricity is measured at every interval of time so when the required resistance is uh, reached the uh, seasoning the process has been stopped here okay so the here if you look at the figure here uh, the timber is been uh, placed in the instrument uh, where uh, the electrical uh, seasoning uh, takes uh, place so that is uh, all about uh, today's topic so we discussed about uh, the timber and the uh, seasoning of the timber yeah thank you